Hello, welcome back. Last time I finished getting S ranks on everything except for one final level here in Desert Dimensions. And that's going to be the entire focus of today. This might turn into a tiny little video. Everybody except me knows by the time this has gone up. I do, but that's the future version of me, not the one who's playing. Just keep jumping X. Here we go. Maybe this won't be too big a deal. Maybe it'll be a huge nightmare and I'll regret everything. Uh, I predict, right, yeah, so I learned this level pretty darn well for the uh, ace run, but that's the ace run, which is a different route than what I'm doing here. Problem spots, I predict, are going to be... Okay, you... Uh, not you, but you were. Uh, uh, torpedo room, as always. I don't have to interact with the mega missile room, so that's nice. Okay, yeah, so fall fast there, and that's obviously the way to go. I want to be on the right side there. So swimming discs of fury. Uh, there's an optimal um, mashing rhythm for climbing up the uh, uh, jump fields or water. It's complicated though. Like just mashing as fast as possible certainly is not. Let's see, I don't think I need that extra charge. What's over here? Spikes and stuff. Uh, right, and for a fast time, I would definitely want to do some, like, backflow stuff. Switch lanes to go faster through there, I imagine. I just want to set down, like, a baseline time here to see how I'm doing. Uh, yeah, okay, so lots of shortcutting I can potentially do here. Ah, I almost didn't make that. But yeah, okay, so a lot of my muscle memory from the ace run is still here. Maybe the s rank time is so generous that just a semi-casual zip through here will be just fine. But see, like the- oh shoot, I needed to touch that. Okay, so I was able to skip one of those. Okay, yeah, so- yeah, oh, I just did that first try. Well, check it. That's doable. Neat. <laughs> Alright, I expected that to be a huge deal and something I wasn't likely to get uh, without huge amounts of effort, but yeah, just, just one-shot it. No problem. I need this key card, right? I think so. Okay, right, this is uh, less scary if I go over for some reason. I forgot. Okay, let's try some backflow here. So if I want to bypass you... Oh, that is not doable. Never mind, I don't think that's a thing I do at all. all right. This room is jump fields? Yes, okay. There are spikes there. Okay, I can't shortcut that much. A little less than that. Uh, I can't quite make that. Had to, had to abort. That's fine. Okay, so... Uh, 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 uh. Spikes are here somewhere. Okay, so basically just make that cycle. And I don't think I can change lanes and get in there any quicker. I might be able to go over that without waiting for that last little bit. It's hard to tell, though. Okay, jump fields. Don't shortcut too much, but do some. Maybe about that much. That worked okay. I think that's quite acceptable. Alright, sewer. At 44. That sounds like a good time to me. Dang it! So don't do that. Will I try for the, uh, um, fast key card? Maybe. Yeah, so fine to skip that one. I will. And I'll die. Alright, I regret it. Nice. Okay, so get in ahead of that. Mm, I didn't. Uh, uh-huh! Okay, good. So can I skip over that? I think I can. That's totally doable, probably. Yes, this is super good. Okay, everything that's happening here is very, very... Gah! Hmm. Left. Okay, I got the left. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's very good. Swim, little blue fish. So, what do I do here? I don't know, just be stuck behind this and be sad about it? Okay, so what I want to do is... Ooh, I cannot go over that. Okay, I think that's pretty definitive. Just gonna have to stay in my lane. So it's just a matter of cycles. Get there to be at a good cycle, and uh, it's about the best you're gonna do with it. Okay. I stayed at full speed there. That's the best cycle I'm gonna get. Can't, can't change lanes to get through there. Just gotta wait. Alright, I'll just wait. It's fine. Ok, 
Okay, that was much better routing through there. Oh, except I died. That makes it worse. I wonder if I could keep a sun charge through here, and then that would be worth the, uh, the detour to get a second one. Probably. That's something worth trying. Okay, so I'll get, get a good measurement of this time. Well, it's going to be around 44 if I, uh, if I perform well here, right? Ah! Okay, I did have the double jump. Uh, I'm a little above 44. Okay, well, I'll try that next time. Assuming there is one, there will be. Okay, I can't skip you if I've skipped you on the way in. Doesn't really matter much. Mm, that did make me fall slower, though. All right, key card. Ah, well, I missed it. All right, I guess I'll go the slow way. I mean, the proper thing to do when I miss it is to wait for a quarter cycle instead of a full cycle. Stay up there and try again. But, you know, I could use practice on the rest of the level. Oh, well, that's a death spot. How about that? Alright, so for an extra orb... Okay, I got one, barely. Can I use this? Ooh, right there! I see a huge skip I can do with that. Okay, that's gonna be absolutely crucial. Got it. I don't have to go around that thing at all. So take a moment to get an extra charge. Because that extra charge is gonna be my ticket through... Ah, there somehow. That's gonna take some finesse, though. Nice! Okay, this is all extremely good. No, no. Okay, that was bad, but whatever. This is all practice. Okay, so I have to land on the ledge, but that's absolutely viable. Got it. Okay, so I have to go right, not left. But yes, that is 100% the way to go. All right, let's get used to it. Figuring out the optimal amount of time to wait there is going to be a thing, isn't it? All right, so... Huh, huh, huh. Mm, timing. Okay, so I want to be close to a spike ball on the outside below me. That's what I desire, all right? No, I didn't... Okay, I didn't spend the thing. Gotta spend before you touch. Okay, so close to the thing like that, but not that close. Okay, so there's a there's a very specific time window, and it's I can be early or late. Okay, time window. Right about here... Ooh, that was too late and too low. Good. Getting used to the rhythm of that. It's still weird, but it's workable. Okay, so right about now-ish? Perfect. That's exactly it. Okay. That is the route. That will save me, like... Wait. Any time at all? 35? That doesn't sound particularly faster than what I was, does it? Hmm. That's... 43. I mean, that's like one second faster than my best going around the thing. How can that be? I guess getting the extra solar charge just costs a lot of time. Okay. All right, so I had a actually not insignificant inefficiency on the uh, run that I had measured there. Let's get a measurement here like this. Oh, my timing was bad though. Okay, well, hmm. I haven't figured that one out 100% yet. Still worth measuring. This is better than I did on that one run that I tried to measure. Okay, that's the way, that's the way, that's the way... Okay. But that was still gonna be around 35 through the door. So yeah, I guess just getting the extra solar charge costs about as much as going around the carousel. Huh. I'm surprised. I thought it'd be way better. I'm still gonna do it. Because that's what my muscle memory is used to at this point. Uh, if I could go immediately there, that would be kind of good. Not have to wait a cycle. Hmm. I do think optimally executed uh, extra solar charge route is probably faster than going around the carousel, but that requires some optimal execution, and the time difference isn't as much as I hoped. It's like maybe a second at most. And in a marathon level like this, how much does a second really count for? Counts for a second. That's how much. Okay, so that was pretty optimal on that. I think I had a few slowdowns earlier, but that might not matter with the cycle of this. Okay.
Okay, 33 through that door. That's... it was normally like 35 or 36. So what about through this door? 41! Ah, that's significant enough. And, yeah, I'm, I'm optimizing my muscle memory for that now, so I'm just gonna, just gonna go with it. Okay, let's start playing a little more carefully here. Because I haven't practiced this section. I don't need to go to the... that part in the right where... Okay, so perfectly executed. I grazed by that first disc, like, dangerously close. I was in its shadow trail. Okay, so don't hit those spikes down there, by the way. There's a bunch of screen effects and stuff going on distracting me. Go over top of this, because for some reason that's less scary than going under. I don't know why, but it is. Ah! Don't have to interact with the right part of this at all, right? How many key cards do I need? Is there a key card over there, or is it a gold? I'm gonna check. Losing all my time. It's a key card, okay. I do indeed have to interact with this. Okay, uh, yeah, so good thing I did that, because otherwise this run would be completely dead. Now, it's merely a little bit inefficient. Alright, torpedoes. I'm gonna do what I always do and hope. Am I any better at what I always do? No. That's just how it always is. Yeah. Okay, blow that up, thanks. Alright. Uh, I'm here, you explode, thank you. You open, thank you. Okay, I made it. Alright, this has potential. I don't know the route from here on a non-ace run. So I'm just gonna be winging it. I'm hoping things are good. Uh, and I'm gonna be not going, like, excessively fast, just moderately fast. Okay, so through here, through here, and this is the end, right? Yeah, this is the end. Okay, there we go. There's the S rank. And it's gonna be a pretty okay one, I think. 240, I think, was the S time. I got a 223. Third place. And I got you for second. That second is way too close to the third. I'll be happy with my... Or, or sorry, cl too close to the first. And I assume the first is pretty uh, close to unbeatable. So, that's the 200% here. Plus one rank up. Uh, let's... Just for fun... Zip out here and redo this level to see the ending text. To see if it's any different from the... Uh, the ending text that was... Um, as it was uh, in the base game. I assume it's not. Well, I say I assume, but I'm checking. All right, so nice little casual run through here. And while we're here, I can give my thoughts and stuff. So, um, first thing I'm thinking about is, well, for one, this expansion was wonderful. I am like, just over the moon having an excuse to come back to this game. Uh, I know at least two people who are currently working on custom level packs. I mentioned a few times that I might be interested at in some point in, like, studying... Like, as a study in level design and as something kind of LP-like activity to do. I'd really love to do a series on building levels in games that I've played, and this would absolutely be one of the games on that list. I would love to build a level set for this game and record it as a series and just see how that goes. Uh, so yeah, if um, the level packs from the people I happen to know get finished, or I get wind of something from, you know, somebody I don't know, doesn't have to be one of my friends, can be anybody, uh, I will absolutely jump at the opportunity to play this game some more. In terms of official content, there are still four achievements I don't have, I think. There's like a couple of mystery ones, and then beat the game fast and beat the game without dying too many times, which requires a new save file. That feels much more like a stream activity to me than a let's play activity, because success is absolutely not guaranteed. You know, I, there's, there's a very specific failure condition that would cost me like the entire multi-hour investment I put into that. Alright, Missile, get your trajectory right, please. There we go. So... Yeah, because, like, in terms of Let's Plays, I would either have a failed session that would... I'd either have to throw away or just post as a failed session. Or, you know, um... Or not, and it would just go right. But, you know, I'd always have that risk of, like, not getting there in time. And, like, it wouldn't split up very well, it'd be a multi-hour thing. But why is that more okay in a stream form than LP form? <laughs> I don't know, it just feels like it is. Just, it just seems like it makes more sense for that format. So yeah, if I uh, 
I'm in a place in my life in the future where I, uh... I'm streaming games other than Final Fantasy, and this thing that I'm doing in a few days, then uh, a speedrun and safety run in this game would absolutely be one of those activities. I could do both at once, probably. Because, like, if I'm doing a safety run, I'm gonna be reasonably fast anyway. If I'm doing a fast run, I'm gonna be reasonably safe anyway, right? The two goals are a little bit conflicting. Thanks, checkpoints. I'm glad I have you on. I don't have to redo all that. Okay. Still got some muscle memory from last time I did this. It wasn't that long ago. And the mystery achievements. I have no process for looking for those, so they'll just, you know, either I'll get them by accident or I'll never get them, pretty much. It's one of those two. And I haven't gotten them by accident, so, you know. Nothing much I can do to, like, go and look for them. Uh, anyway... Yeah, so I guess what I'm saying is I think this is it for my current... the current leg of my LP of this game but I have plenty of possible excuses for the future to come back and play it more. And I will look forward to doing that when the time comes, because I'm absolutely in love with this game, every bit as much as I was during my first, the first leg of the LP. It is just a wonderful masterpiece. One of my absolute favorite games of all time, any genre. Platformer especially, but you know. It's just so good. And just like, so criminally underplayed. Like, you saw how sparse the leaderboards were for this expansion. Almost nobody knows about this. It's like such a well-kept secret. I'd love if more people could play this. Because it's just such a... such a wonderful thing. Am I gonna make it to that or did I jump too low? There it goes. <laughs> ah. Just great with every little interaction I have with it. Was that an S rank? Or sorry, that was a... I mean, obviously no, it couldn't have been. My time was, what, 350 or something? I didn't even pay attention. Did that say incredible or did, it, did that say very good? There's no way that was an S, right? The time's not that lenient. Like, I just saw, like, a glimpse of the clear times and thought that might have been under the... the fastest one I saw, but I, I probably saw wrong. <laughs> Again, everybody except me will know already. But I'll know in a minute. Right, so credits are gonna happen. You know what? Let's let the credits play. This is a real nice little remix thing here. I enjoy it. Yeah, um... I am honestly kind of... Kind of itching a little bit to play the, the base levels of the game again. But I mean, like, that can be a treat for future me, I think. And yeah, the, I guess, main reason I want to stop here is to let the expansion stand on its own and not just immediately, you know, get distracted two days later with uh, a replay of the, the main game. Because this was a wonderful expansion and it absolutely deserves the attention. So nice. Alright. There were a bunch of new music tracks for this. Bunch of levels, new- I don't know how much- well, there were a lot of new mechanics. Like, I was surprised by the amount of different mechanics that showed up here. Like, all sorts of stuff would be real exciting to use in level editing and stuff. Once I get to it. Hey, I'm gonna see my name here! I always forget that it's here until I'm actually looking at the credits. Like, hey, wait, that's right, I'm in these credits! <laughs> and it makes me so happy every time. My Twitter handle specifically, apparently. Ah, this is great. This is a love letter to platformers. And this LP is my love letter to this platformer. This accelerates at some point, right? I don't think it scrolls all the way off at the speed. Oh, it gets... oh yeah, there it goes. Okay, it was that point. <laughs> Simple as it is, that's a really nice little credit sequence. I appreciate it a lot. Don't mind having watched it like five or six times now. Lumi Rule Return! That's right, I forgot about this. I wonder what that means. Several possibilities. 
But, you know, we can only speculate. <laughs> Louie will return on my channel, at the very least. Custom levels of some sort and the other other thingy. 200%. 200% clear time. 11 hours. 26 mi Wait. Gold clear is the same as... Yes, because I didn't have a gold in... Uh, just keep jumping at... Just keep jumping? Is that what it's called? Yes. Uh, until I had the the 200%. That makes sense. Destroying my game. That's right. Okay. Cool. Right. And that just stays there for a bit. Platinum time is over four minutes. Okay. I got an S rank during that silly little casual run. I was under four, wasn't I? I was like a 350 or something. I can't, I don't think I can see my most recent time. Yeah, I think it was a 350. All right. I mean, that's reasonable. I didn't die much, but yeah. All right. This is so great. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Super cool. All right, uh, I'll see you again sometime to play this game again in some form, but for now, we're gonna put it to rest. I almost forgot something important I wanted to do. <laughs> there was a certain level that I got a world record on, and uh, <laughs> to my knowledge, that record did not even survive until the video was posted. But let's go take a look at what it was. It was uh, B5, Soul Spheres, Steam Rank second. Yeah, okay. The legendary Butcher Berries has, of course, one up to me. Can I look at this replay? I... How do I... There's somebody named Sendies on my friends list? Oh no, I don't know who that is. You must have like changed your name at some point because I don't recognize your name. Uh... How do I do things? Download replays? Butcher Berries, 44, 4, 2, 3. Let's see how this worked, because I thought my run was pretty optimal. Uh, yes, I want that. Uh, okay, you did it. Download it. I want to see it. Yes. So is this just a better execution of what I did, or... Oh, that was a dash at the start, for one thing. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm super... Oh, and a dash there. Okay, so... What the heck was that? Okay, so there's a little glitch with the replay system. It doesn't show spheres getting spent. I see. What a weird route through here. How is this better? That looked extremely improvable. Wasn't my route, like, way better through that? What? Okay, you didn't manage to keep a sphere there, otherwise that looked the same as what I did, but it looked conspicuously worse in a couple of places. Hold up! Oh, I pressed restart replay. Well, okay. So the dash there, sure. I have pretty well memorized what I did. So wouldn't it... So I assumed it would be faster to, uh... to carry some forward momentum there than to, like... Yeah, like, like he did on that, uh, um, that fall there. Okay, that was significantly better than what I did. Right there was a time save. Right here? Maybe the route just didn't allow going, like, topside to getting to a thing. Let's, um, can I go back and... Okay, I can hold this to slow it down. How do I... Can I, like, restart level? Okay, so if I... Yeah, if I hold this, it just slows it down a whole lot. So yeah, let's analyze this. So dash there, that's very interesting. I guess maybe that's quicker than the tiny amount of forward you could get from that horizontal space, but yet, yeah, like, that trajectory. That's what I was trying to do there. So where's the weird spot? Not here. Actually, yeah, let's see what this is. So you're doing a jump to fall faster. You actually do a double jump to get this. And you're able to keep your forward momentum because it's a tiny little double jump. Okay, so right here. What am I looking at? You've used your double jump. You still have three spheres. No, you don't. The replay doesn't show, honestly. But you slowed down so much. Couldn't you have gone over that spike thing? Maybe it just wasn't possible in the cycle. Yeah, no, it wasn't. I see how that is. Because that was just... That was the amount of forward that you got. 
But like, for that much slowdown, maybe it would have been worth it to wait? I wonder. But yeah, spending those two spheres there, same as I did, doing dashes to get that quicker makes sense. The rest of this is pretty much the same as what I did. Yeah, just slightly better corner cutting stuff. Okay! So yeah, no particularly major changes except that one that I uh, took some time to understand. Uh, just mostly better execution. That makes sense. Alright, well that's cool. I enjoyed having the world record for a brief little moment. <laughs> and that brief little moment was enough for me. Okay, now I think I'm actually done.